What's up guys, Colby's Tech Reviews here. And today I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a different, um, is very popular in videos today, and especially in tech videos, and I actually just started using it in my latest videos, um, starting with, I believe, the Beats unboxing. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't yet. But uh, what it's gonna go over is, I'm assuming you've read the title, but it's going to go over how to do the Flickr text effect in Premiere Pro. And so I'm running Premiere Pro CC. So the first step, I'm gonna to try to keep, keep this video quick and I feel like I say that every video and, and they're not. Uh, but I'm gonna to try to keep it quick. But you wanna go ahead and add a new title. Call it whatever you want. And it'll bring up this, this second screen here. My computer's running a little slow today. I kind of put it through, put it through a bunch of stuff today in class and whatnot. But so you wanna make the title. And you can go ahead and, you know, obviously make it as big as you want. Looks pretty good for the sake of this video. And the font that I use typically in my videos is actually called Big John. Um, I downloaded it from somewhere. No, I don't remember where. If I find it, I'll leave the link in the video. But if not, you guys will probably do a quick Google search. I'll probably bring it up. Um, so what I typically do is... I go ahead, create the title, and then what I do is I go and set the opacity. And it depends on the video of how how much opacity, you know, that I want. I just think it looks really cool to be able to see through the text. So as you, I'll put, if I put it down here, you can kind of see the trees through, um, through the text a little bit, which is obviously making the text more see-through is what the opacity does, if you're not sure. So we go ahead and close this. It'll automatically automatically save over here to our project our, our project files. And if we see, if we drag it into our timeline, we see that I pulled it over here. So what I'm gonna wanna do, or what you're gonna wanna do, is go ahead and copy this, or if you're on a Mac, go ahead and click Option and drag, and it'll make two copies of it. And then what you're gonna wanna do, and this is the easiest way that I've found, is go ahead and zoom in really, 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 really far. You're gonna make this second, this second copy of it really small. And you're only gonna make it one frame in size. So if we zoom in, scroll over to it, sorry guys, you should be able to see that I can no longer make this any smaller or it goes away. So then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drag this to the very, very beginning. I typically leave it in front of my normal title about three frames, four frames in front. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is option, click and drag again. And I like to put three before because it makes it a little bit cooler, in my opinion. All right, so your next step is actually going to be you're going to select these all. And um, option, click and drag. And you want to drag all the way over if it'll let me. Apparently not, so let me zoom out real quick. All right, here we go. So have these click, drag to the end of your title there scroll over and find them all right cool so now I'm just gonna space these out I'm gonna do it the same as I did in the front of the video except for the other way um, three in the front and then two in between the other ones so then if we go ahead and zoom out here and we go ahead and play what we just did as the title is coming up you'll see that it kind of flickers on stays on for a while as the title does and then flickers off just like that so that I've, I have found is the easiest way to go ahead and do this. It's actually a lot simpler than I originally had thought at first. Um, I had seen it originally in a couple of MKBHD videos, shout out to him, um, a couple of Techno Buffalo videos, and Techno Buffalo has been one of my favorites since I was younger. Um, so yeah, so that's the easiest way that I've found. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below. This is kind of the first video in a while that I've done of a tutorial. So let me know down below in the comment section if you guys would like to see more of this. So I am going to school for graphic design, as I'm sure you've heard in another video. But this is something that I really enjoy doing. I also really enjoy video editing as well. And I know you can't see me, so I hate to talk at you guys without anything going on on the screen. But it's something that I've, I'm really passionate about. And that I really enjoy doing in my day-to-day -day life, even as a hobby, after class, even though I'm doing it in class all day. 
But like I said, let me know down below in the comment section if anybody would like to see more of this kind of stuff because I'd be happy to make more videos like this. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. This is Colby's Tech Reviews, and I will see you guys next time.